Hey everybody, it's Tyler Austin. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanna make a quick video to review the FB5000 bench from Rep Fitness, that's R-E-P Fitness. I've had this thing for well over two years now and it has seen a lot of use. Not only in my own personal training because I use it a good three to four times a week at least, but also with all my in-person clientele as well. They've obviously used this, so it has seen a lot of use over the, over the two years that I've had it. Um, the vinyl on it has held up very, very well. It's really no worse for wear other than, you know, a few scuffs and, you know, stains and stuff that that's on it just from, you know, general wear and tear and usage. Um, but there is no serious damage to it like uh, cuts or anything like that. So the vinyl has held up really well. Um, it, the vinyl is very tacky, so um, it's, it's grippy, so you don't have the problem of sliding up and down the bench when you're using it. We've all used benches that, uh, that are very slick, where you slide up and down really easily when you're benching, which is very annoying. This does not have that problem. Uh, the pad on it's nice and firm. It's not too soft, um, and it is held up also very well, so there's no like sagging or, or softening of the pad. It's just as firm as the day I got it, again, even with all the use. Um, it's very easy to assemble, so, I mean, if you can use a wrench, um, it's not hard at all, so there is absolutely no issues there. I really like the design of it, where it only has the, the T support on the, on the front of it, where your head goes, and it just has a single pillar on the back end. Um, it's nice to have only that single pillar, so that way, if you, had a, if you had a T pillar here, it would tend to get in the way of your feet when you're benching, which can be very annoying. Um, a lot of benches come with a T support on the back end where your feet go and they just get in the way when you're benching. And even though it only has that single pillar support on the back, it's a very sturdy bench and it doesn't really move anywhere um, when, you're, when you're benching on it. We've all benched um, using benches that are cheaper and have a little bit of wobble to them and that can be somewhat unnerving when you got some heavy weight in your hands. Uh, but this is a very secure bench and myself and no one who's ever used it has ever had that issue. Uh, moving on from there, it, it is a very sturdy bench. It's, it's rated for over a thousand pounds, so it's going to handle anything that you're going to be doing on it. Um, it does have wheels on the front and a handle on the back, so it's very easy to move around and wheel around. Um, it'd be pretty annoying if you had to pick this thing up everywhere um, in order to move it. Um, but luckily it does have wheels on it and a nice handle, so that's not an issue. Uh, the wheels have been just fine. I've never had them come loose or anything like that, so I've had no issues there. Each of the uh, supports has rubber feet on them, so it, it's not easy to slide around. Other than that, it's, I mean, it's a basic flat bench. Other than it being a very high-quality bench, it's just your basic flat bench. It does have a 12-inch pad, and that's really the only thing I might change on it. Uh, it does have a standard 12 inch pad, which is standard for the industry. And for most people, that's just fine. But for smaller stature people like myself, you know, me being five foot two, and especially for like women, sometimes 12 inches can be a little wide. So I definitely like to see it come in an option and like a 10 inch option. Um, I haven't checked their website in a long time. So they might have a 10 inch um, pad available for this. If, that, if that's the case, awesome. Um, but last time I checked, they didn't. So uh, that would definitely be an option I would like to see on it. Again, that 10 inches wide is just generally a better, um, generally a better width for especially smaller statured people and especially women. In my opinion, this is really probably the best bench uh, on the market for the money. It's definitely your best bang for your buck um, that I'm aware of. I mean, there's a lot of good benches out there on the market, you know, from like Rogue and other companies, but they're tend to be a lot more expensive than this bench and this bench really has a lot of value uh, for what you're spending on it. So if you're looking for a bench uh, for either like your home gym or if you're looking for multiple benches for like a commercial gym, definitely take a look at this bench because I think it will serve you uh, phenomenally and I do not think you will be disappointed with it. So yeah, again, this is the FB5000 from Rep Fitness. Um, go check it out. Again, I think it's the best bench uh, for your money on the market. 
I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please like, subscribe, follow, depending on where you're watching this. If you would be interested in online coaching, I offer coaching. I offer the most personalized and effective online coaching, online strength coaching in the industry. So if that's something you would be interested in, be sure to check out the link down in the description below and we can set that up and I'd be more than happy to help you. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tyler Austin and I hope to see you under the bar.